when Jesus opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for half an hour. And John saw the seven angels standing before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, with the prayers of the saints, ascended before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The blowing of the first trumpet produced hail fire and blood that were cast upon the earth. This represented the savage attack upon the Roman Empire, by the Goths. The ruthless leader of the Goths was Alaric. Like a hailstorm they swarmed across Greece, Italy, France and Spain. The city of Rome was ravaged for six days in 410. The destruction was the hail and fire mingled with blood. Trees and grass represent God's people. Severe persecution and massive destruction came upon them. The burning of the trees and grass indicated the desolation and difficult times they endured. The blast of the second trumpet induced the second destruction and plunder of the city of Rome for 14 days in 455. When the mountain was cast into the sea, a third part of the sea became blood. This fiery mountain represented the Vandals under their leader, Ganseric. They were a maritime power whose ships controlled the Mediterranean. Creatures in the sea and ships mean the sea of humanity and their possessions. Also, the expression one third or a third mean a substantial portion of their possessions. When the third trumpet sounded a great star, burning like a lamp, fell upon the rivers and fountains of waters. Etla, the leader of the Huns, plundered large populations of the continent of Europe. He called himself the Scourge of God. His warriors, scarred their faces in order to inflict fear upon their enemies. It was the cruel and heartless onslaught of the Huns that caused bitterness of humanity. A third part of the sun moon and star was destroyed when the fourth angel sounded. Some Bible scholars maintain that the sun moon and stars referred to the Roman emperors and senators, who were killed during this period. Still, others believe, the darkening of the sun moon and stars referred to the dimming of the light of the gospel. The Roman emperor, Romulus, was deposed and his power in the west taken away. Rome surrendered in 476. The Roman Empire was eventually broken up into ten kingdoms. By the end of the blowing of the first four trumpets, the attacks upon Rome resulted ultimately in the destruction of that once mighty empire, that was responsible for the death of millions of Christians. The last three trumpets are called woes. It was warriors from the desert that brought the first and second woes. They were called woes because of the extent and severity of the destruction. A star that fell to the earth was given the key to the bottomless pit, when the fifth trumpet sounded. The bottomless pit is, the Arabian and Saharan deserts. Their warriors came from these vast wasteland. Muhammad of the faith of Islam organized them into a dynamic fighting machine. They were given power to hurt and torment people for five months which are 150 days, or 150 prophetic years. A voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which was before God, told the angel with the sixth trumpet, to release the four, angels that were bounded at the Euphrates river. The four angels who had been holding back their wind of war, now unleashed the second woe on humanity. This sixth trumpet, the second woe, invoked the Ottoman Empire, which overthrew the Eastern Roman Empire. The Ottoman Empire was established on July 27, 1449 and lost power on August 11, 1840. It was to rule for an hour, and a day, and a month and day, year. By using Bible symbols, this translated into 391 years and 15 days of prophetic time. 
During this time the Ottoman Empire totally destroyed a third of humanity. At the sounding of the sixth trumpet, a religious reformation emerged. This last day church will continue until Jesus returns. We are living in the time of the sixth trumpet and are waiting for the sound of the final trumpet. During this time God's people must declare the everlasting gospel to the world.